I went for a swim today because last week I didn't. And I got down here towards this portion of my run where it's tide pretty high and I thought to myself, doggone it, I'm just gonna go for a swim now. I put my top back on. I didn't swim with my top on, but I realized that I never will put a video or a photo of myself on line. I've learned that sailing without a shirt on anymore. It's just that I'm way too timid for it. But early this morning I was watching Elahud, um what's his name? I'm blanking on his name, the guy who just broke the marathon, Kipchonge um, record and run a 158 something or 159 something, just insane marathon. And as I watch it, I watch an interview with him like minutes, minutes after he just run the fastest marathon in all time. And he said this, he said, if this could help world peace, he said, if this just like as if he were, had just won the Miss America contest, he said, if this could help anyone believe that they can live a life without limits, he says, this is the reason I'm doing it. I want to be an example. And I thought, that got it. If that young man can train and strive and give his life to helping people want to live a life without limits, the very least I can do is get in the ocean on a glorious day like this and go for a swim. So I got down to this point in my run. I started oh, about three miles back over there where you see the point. Got down here to this section. It's absolutely beautiful, spectacular morning, perfect for running, perfect for cycling, perfect for just about everything. Surf and stop, I don't know, knee high, ankle to knee high, and there are people just utilizing the beach everywhere you look. So I got down here, jumped in, as God would have you, go swimming. And it was wondrous. I don't know what's limiting you today, but I know that you weren't created to be limited. You were created to live a life absolutely without limits. If it's your fear of the water, if it's your fear of what someone else might think when you're standing there talking to a telephone, if it's your fear of failure, if it's your fear of thinking, well, I've never done that before, whatever it is. Give it a try, and then just don't do try once and think, oh man, that's gonna hurt. If you start playing the guitar, you're gonna get blisters on your finger. I got blisters on my fingers. Um, if you start running, you're gonna get sore muscles. If you start swimming, you're gonna get sore muscles. Start cycling, you're gonna get sore. It's what it's about. Whatever you start, it's gonna change you. And that's the point, is the change that happens in us. But then you become an example of a life that's unlimited. I don't know what kind of changes you may need in your life today. That can be an example to others, but I believe each of us were created to be the miracle. And I know for me, jumping in the water today was a good first step. Maybe you need to jump in the water today too. Maybe not the literal water, maybe there's a figurative water for you. But you need to strip down and just jump in the water and say, you know what, I am absolutely ready. Let this be today. Now, because I jumped in the water doesn't mean I don't have to run all the way back. I still have the run all the way back. But all week long, I'm gonna know, I got in the water and it was good. Get in the water today, it's good. Let yourself not just experience the miracle of life, but be the miracle. Hey, that's the reason I do this, is so that you and me can be the miracle together. Have a fantastic Saturday.